have the communication wire, thermostat wire. The wire doesn't have to be encased in conduit because it is low voltage. So by code, we are not required to encase this in any form of protection like conduit, liquid tight, metal conduit, nothing like that. We wrap it around the line set so that way it stays nice and neat and we are gonna apply some zip ties to keep everything in place. We are using that little coil as a chase for our wires. Make sure we tuck the wire behind here. We just completed the wiring for the new furnace. I know for some of us that have been out in the field for a quite long while, it's gonna be complicated. So it's gonna be complicated for people that are green as well. But like any change, once you do it a few times, it's gonna become second nature. And I believe it's, we are all going to be just fine. So let's get started. The orange wire goes to the white terminal on a control board. So now this is the part that I said it's a little bit unorthodox. The white wire from the sensor goes to the R terminal on the control board. So we are breaking the power from this furnace going to the thermostat through the red wire from the thermostat going into the sensor. The next wire we have is the black wire from the sensor, right here. That goes to the common terminal on the control board. We also have the common from the AC hooked up to the common terminal on the control board and the common from the thermostat. Those wires are all connected here to this. We have all of our commons right here connected together. The one from the thermostat we have a float switch, so that one, we broke the white wire, the common from the AC, and that common is hooked up with the common from the thermostat and the common going to the control board. The green wire from the sensor, that's an optional wire. It's for an alarm. We don't have it hooked up because we don't have an alarm installed on this uh, furnace. The next wire, it's the red wire from the refrigerant sensor and that goes to the red wire from the thermostat. Like I was saying, we bring the power on the white wire from the R terminal on the control board. That is going down to the sensor, and from the sensor, we are returning 24 volts to the thermostat. If that sensor detects any refrigerant, it will shut down the power going to the thermostat, and it will engage the blower motor, so it goes into a purge mode. And our last wire is the blue wire from the refrigerant sensor. And that will go to the, our yellow wire, which in this case is a red, common practice. That red wire over there goes to the outdoor unit and the yellow wire goes to the thermostat. We have our common hooked up, which is black from the sensor and our common going to the thermostat. We have our green hook top for the blower motor, just the old way they use green, the old way the green wire used to be hooked up. We have our white wire, this is a big difference here, that hooks up to the red terminal, again for power to the sensor because we are breaking the red wire. We have our white wire coming from the thermostat that goes to W, no change over there. And we have the orange wire, which again that's the yellow wire in theory, and it's going to the white terminal. 